BBC News with Chris Barrow. President Biden has said he'll ask Congress for billions more dollars in military support for Israel and Ukraine. In a televised address from the Oval Office, Mr Biden said that both countries were fighting enemies of democracy and ensuring their success was vital to America's security and global leadership. He also stressed the urgency of getting relief to Palestinian civilians in Gaza. As the Israeli bombardment of Gaza continues, the former head of Hamas has said that several Israeli soldiers are among the dozens of hostages it holds. Earlier, Israel's defence minister told troops massed on Gaza's boundary that they would soon see the enclave from the inside. The Ukrainian parliament has approved the first reading of a bill that would ban the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. The government has accused it of collaborating with Russia since last year's invasion. Police in Haiti have arrested a former Justice Department official who's suspected of being the mastermind behind the assassination of President Jovenel Moise two years ago. The US Army has charged a soldier who fled to North Korea in July with desertion, insubordination and soliciting child pornography on social media. Private Travis King, who's 23, was released from North Korean custody last month. Britain's governing Conservative Party has received crushing defeats at the hands of Labour in by-elections to two parliamentary seats, one of which they'd held since 1931. Canada says it's withdrawn 41 diplomats from India after Delhi threatened to revoke their official status in a row over the killing of a Canadian Sikh activist. The military government in Niger says it's foiled an attempt by the deposed former president, Mohamed Bazoum, to escape from custody. A spokesman said Mr Bazoum and his family were planning to flee to Nigeria with the help of an unnamed foreign power. BBC News.